to do a couple more quick reviews. I did one on the neck hidden uh, wallet, which you can look at my links to find the other ones. Um, there's two other ones. I'm just going to review them together. They're they're pretty similar to each other. One of them is called the REI RFID hidden travel wallet. I'll post the link below to the REI site. Um, so this one's twelve dollars and fifty cents as of July seventeenth, two thousand sixteen. So this one is pretty good. I like this way better than the ones that hang around your neck. Uh, this one pretty much essentially just you take your belt and it goes through your belt loops. So because it's doing that, you can easily kind of flip it into your shorts or pants, whatever you're wearing. And then, I mean, if they were to kind of look at your belt and you didn't have anything that was over your belt, maybe they could see these little things, but probably not. It'd be really hard to see that. Um, you can barely feel that it's there. Um, this one has a couple of pockets in it. It has like a big pocket and then two smaller pockets. Um, so you can kind of separate like maybe uh, your passport can fit in here and then you could put like uh, maybe cards in these smaller slots. Um, they're about the size of a credit card. There's two of those slots. And it's a zipper and this is supposed to be RFID proof. I didn't test that. Um, but I don't know like people, I don't know how well that equipment works. Just I doubt they point it at people's pockets. Maybe they do, but I bought it more for hiding the money basically. Um, so you can put cash in here. I wouldn't put change in here. Um, but definitely bills of whatever denomination you're using along with credit cards could go in here and your passport and you know in fact it's you barely notice it at all so much that whenever you use the bathroom or if you were to like take your belt off you have to be conscious of it because it will just fall on the floor so you definitely need to kind of be you know aware of it when you go to the bathroom or anywhere where you're changing your shorts or pants or you know whatever you're wearing You'll want to make sure you don't forget this. That's probably the biggest warning I could say. Um, other than that, I don't really have a negative thing to say about it. I liked it. It's pretty easy. Like if you were in line, you could easily flip it out. Obviously, people would see you do that. You may want to like go somewhere more private or while you're sitting down to pull it out and then pull your money out and then go up and do the interaction and go again somewhere where people can't see what you're doing. But you could still do it like, you know, while you're in line. It's just people might see that you have it there. Um, but I think it's a very secure method. I've seen a bunch of other methods. The the one under your shirt, it'd be hard for them to get to that, but they'd know it's there. Um, I've seen the lap belts. Those things are super easy to cut and slide from people. I've watched some videos where they did it. So this would be virtually impossible for them to sneak from you without you knowing it. Um, and they wouldn't know it's there really. Whereas the it's obvious to them when you're wearing one of those... Um, waist wallet things not not the fanny pack or whatever but the it's just a really slim thing that goes around your waist to put money in um i don't recommend that one because they do see that this one i definitely recommend um and then if you don't need a passport the biggest reason for this one is the passport uh they also have this one which is called the rei rfid clips clip stash wallet um it's twelve dollars it's uh, a little bit smaller um so like i said you can't fit you know obviously a passport in here if you had the passport card you could use it i don't know how many places actually allow you to just use your passport card instead of your physical passport um it really just has the one pocket though so you could put you know money uh, credit cards would fit in here uh, not a whole lot um, but it would fit in there and it's got a clip so it would go around your belt buckle or it could even go around I guess if you had a necklace or something you could clip it on that um, pretty small supposed to be RFID proof also and I kind of use both of these so like you could use this let's say uh, this one was a lot easier to pull in and out this one's a little bit harder maybe you have your backup cash or your majority of your cash in this and then you have your, you know, what you want to spend while you're out, you know, here and there in this one. So, and if one, somebody takes one, they won't have the other part. So, you know, I like both of these. I recommend at least having one of these, if nothing else, as a backup reserve 
um, along with, I, I'm not going to demonstrate it, but I would also recommend a dummy wallet if you're traveling somewhere that's unsafe. Um, just put some, you know, some money in it, some fake BS cards, um, and then keep your real, you know, ID and money, stuff like that in one of, one of these two. I would definitely recommend these. Um, can't think of anything negative to say about them other than, you know, they're kind of small. This one's super small. And, uh, yeah, I highly recommend them. And uh, if you go on a trip, good luck, um, be safe, and have a good time. Thanks.